Welcome to JBLM in 10, the Rangers video channel connecting you to the greater JBLM area. Today, we're in the beautiful and noteworthy Columbia Valley ABA in Oregon, where the high desert climate is the perfect place for growing wine grapes. American Viticultural Areas, or AVAs, are unique geographic locations, climate, soil, and topography for growing grapes. And while the Columbia Valley AVA is mostly in Washington, there's a small section here in Oregon that contains some of the oldest vines and incredibly delicious wines in the region. While the Columbia Valley AVA covers over 11 million acres, only a small portion is in Oregon, stretching from the Dallas to Milton Freewater. The region's dry temperatures and wind help promote slow ripening, while the cool nights help grapes retain their acidity. Both red and white wines are produced in the region, with Riesling, Merlot, Chardonnay, Syrah, and Cabernet Sauvignon as the main varieties. Now, we can't talk about the Columbia Valley AVA without mentioning Pine's 1852 Vineyards, owned by Lonnie Wright. Lonnie is considered the grandfather of viticulture in the area, as some of the grapes on his vineyard were planted as early as the 1890s. Well, everybody knows you can't grow Zinfandel in Oregon. Okay, so this is, uh, this is one of the heads that was at, at ground level. Originally, these, these plants were, they call them head trained on the ground, and they just brought canes up, straight up out of the ground, because the old timers thought that the, uh, the plants needed to be covered with uh, snow in the winter in order to survive the winters. Well, it turns out that you, they will survive the winters except for the very worst ones. Before Wright bought the vineyard, though, it had been abandoned and the grapevines disregarded. After he purchased Pine's 1852 vineyards in the 1980s, Wright restored as many of the original Zinfandel vines as he could and acted as a mentor to other wine growers and producers in the area. Okay, well this is, uh, this is our old vine Zinfandel. Uh, the part that's old is the roots. Uh, this trunk has been here since 96. We had a winter freeze in 96 and went down to 13 below and, it, and every one of these plants froze to the ground. And then uh, we brought them back up again. Now, before we go on, check out this quick video from one of our sponsors. Here, handcrafted is a way of life. Local makers create one-of-a-kind experiences for visitors to enjoy, from artisan cheese, fresh apple cider, to brewers of handcrafted ales. The getaway to Thurston County nurtures your creative side giving you full permission to explore something new. Thurston County is a place where people come to do something remarkable and aim for the extraordinary. Those that live here are fueled by determination to follow their passions. It's in our culture, and it's the very heart of our people that make this an exciting and unique destination for visitors. We are you. We are decidedly different. Welcome back. We are taking you to one of the only tasting rooms in the Columbia Valley AVA, Sunshine Mills Winery, which is known for being one of the most unique tasting rooms in Oregon. The tasting room at Sunshine Mills Winery is located inside the old Sunshine Mill, which was restored by James and Molly Martin. It houses both the Quinet and Copa de Vino Winery's tasting rooms. For the curious at heart, here's a quick look at the wine tasting with Quinet Winery. So what I'll pour for you is our Quinet brand Nirvana. This is our most popular white. Um, it's a big hit in the summer. Um, and these are all Columbia Valley sourced grapes. This is a blend of Semillon, Sauvignon Blanc, Pinot Gris, and a little bit of Chardonnay. So, Copa de Vino, meaning wine by the glass, is a wine brand that took off after the Martins appeared on the popular business investment show, The Shark Tank. The Martins went on the show looking for investors for their patented premium wine sealed in a plastic cup, topped with a splash cap. Okay, so the second blend that I'll be pouring for you is labeled under our Copa label. 
These are all local grapes as well, and this was actually bottled on site. This is a Chardonnay Pinot Gris Riesling blend, so just a hint more sweet. While most of the Columbia Valley AVA rests in Washington State, it's clear that the wineries and vineyards of the Oregon side of the AVA are gems, with plenty of well-crafted wines, historical charm, and interesting tasting rooms to keep you happy. Don't hesitate to take the short drive down to Oregon's Columbia Valley wineries, where we promise you won't be disappointed. Keep checking back for more videos on Oregon's amazing wine country. And thanks for watching JBLM in 10.